Hi guys and welcome to another video with Shalom Vegan and Frodo. Hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful day. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're up to. Hope you're living to the true full potential that you want to represent yourself in this world and you're doing everything and anything you want to be doing with what is available to you. And the beauty of this world is, is that everything is available to us, like nothing is off limits. All you need to do is <laughs> genuinely decide that you want to do this or this and then ask for it and you know send those vibrations out into the universe send that energy is asking for a specific thing and then ask explain how it would make you feel like feel it feeling of a person that already has that that accomplished has accomplished that and in one way or another everything that we have in the world right now everything that it surrounds you right now is something that you have asked for at some point and what I th like I think that that makes this world so incredibly beautiful because we literally create our own reality and whatever we want out of it right so today I want to make a slightly different video I know my videos have been here and there and I kind of cover all sorts of different subjects and topics and basically that's why like I'm working on my website because I also want it to have a bit more of a structure of the information that I give you guys and maybe a structure of you being able to share your thoughts and ideas on certain things apologies for the train passing <laughs> on specific subjects whether it is to do with the environment whether it is to do with the mind whether it is to do with fitness and crazy amazing endurance abilities or health or veganism or just whatever, right? So, one of the books that I'm reading at the moment is called Return to the Brain of Eden. There it is. And I think it's, um, it's very, very interesting. I really like it. And it basically talks about connection between... It talks partially about the connection of our diet and how that influences people that we become and our DNA but the first big section of the book and obviously I haven't fully read through it like I'm only kind of third way through the book but it also talks about how we have two different hemispheres in our brain right and one is very logical and it's responsible for maths and you know physics and science and understanding things like that and the other half of the brain the other hemisphere is really creative, very musical, very much to do with the spirituality, with the consciousness, with the all that kind of stuff, right? Like, so one is like very strict and very like specific, this, 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 like those very structured, you can say. And the other one is very creative, very vibrant, very colorful, very musical, very much of just whatever. <laughs> I just want to feel like it comes from the heart, like the creativity part. part. And as human beings, I feel like we're all very, very creative and creativity is incredibly important, I feel, personally for me, as the representation of who I am and where I am every day and creativity helps me to really represent present myself in a certain level of how I want to be presented in this world. And a little bit, with this video, I want to maybe a little bit, tell you a little bit more about my other side of things apart from crazy adventure cyclists kind of stuff but also tell you yeah tell you a little bit more about the creativity and creative stuff that I do and at the same time you know maybe have a little bit of a juggle in your head and provide you with a little bit of motivation to maybe do something creative today or tomorrow and maybe think about back when you were younger what were you up to what did you enjoy <laughs> doing right because when we're little kids we don't really care as much about what other people think about us or how we're perceived by others by the society um, we just do what we love we do what we enjoy we do what feels natural and what feels very attractive and you feel attracted to that specific thing with our soul when I was younger I used to paint a lot like it was used to be like seriously my thing as big as cycling is right now and I used to love public speaking even though I didn't really speak too much in public because I was freaking 10 years old no one does that <laughs> but I used to like have these tapes that I would 
pretend I would come home from school and I'd press play and I'd like talk, 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 talk at the tape and then I'd release in the tape and then I'd say some things differently. So I'd like, I, I would play pretend to do public speaking and it was just like so funny and so amusing to me. Think about it now. But I used to like really, really enjoy it and really, really get into it. And they'd be like actually really fun to get hold of those tapes. But I think they're somewhere like my grandparents in Russia. But anyway, the thing is, when we grow up and we become adults and we all get jobs, which may not be particularly something that we're passionate about, we feel like we have to run this like little rat race, right? We have to just really work at something and there's no time for us. Like we get so tired and tied up and stressed out at our daily jobs, at our I want to say sometimes we're not very nice relationships that we choose to stay in or we decide to be in and then we don't feel inspired we don't have the kind of inner drive to create and the thing is that whatever religion you believe in right like if you're super religious you believe that God created you so obviously there is a part of God inside of you if you just believe in the universe and spirituality you believe that the consciousness has created you right and conscious if you're believing in that then the consciousness has multiplied itself to know itself better and how do you know yourself better by trying different things by expressing yourself how you feel in different ways so to me I feel like it's incredibly important now and it has always been but having that going to university having that crazy structured job where there's a lot of mess like you might know some of you might know I'm an engineer and I've talked about it before in my, in my videos and I'm rare it's when you're an engineer right it's very much XYZ very structured very much of a like straight on not much creativity degree and I actually enjoyed the research part of my degree because I also have a master's and I did some research in renewable energy and that was fun that was exciting because I got to actually play with stuff and use my imagination really even though I mean yes you can use imagination as an engineer but there's a whole other topic we're not talking about it here we're talking about reminding yourself that apart from someone who earns money and acts as a part of the society and the system there's <laughs> a lot more to life and to you as a creation of consciousness or of God or whatever you believe in right so for me personally different ways that I express my creativity at the moment that come from dancing like some of you may know I have a couple of videos on Latin dancing on my channel I'm really into dancing and I've I've done like a few lessons on Latin dancing I think that's very fun, I think it's very creative and very exciting and you're able to move with the flow, move with the music and you're kind of pushing that um, creative side of your brain work a lot more and express itself and grow and develop as well as like that's another thing when we go to university if we're not doing a creative kind of degree we're very much focusing on developing our logic, our understanding, our, I want to say intelligence or knowledge and it's not a bad thing, absolutely not, you need to develop in both ways I feel right because both are equally important because you do have the two hemispheres and if you're able to engage them both equally well you're gonna you're going to be able to accomplish a lot more stuff or in a very different unique way to other people so <laughs> you know you might have seen pictures behind me they're not like super duper exciting but that was just something that creative that I thought I'd chuck in my video just to show you a little bit right um so i am also into painting and i actually got myself some painting supplies as you can see here there's like an ozzle and i've got like some paint at the back here there's some brushes i'm super super excited about it oh there are my bikes there are my beautiful little children bikes <laughs> Children, 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 children. Should I? Um, but anyway, this is a really cool painting. I saw. I actually been to Venice, and I absolutely love Venice, and it was just like so fun and so romantic and so beautiful. I actually went there for a conference, which I spoke on biofuels. Again, a whole other video. I should start doing videos on renewable energy. Could be interested in that. Comment down below. We can talk about renewable energy on the channel. No drama at all. That is of interest to me. So anyway, I saw the picture and I really liked it. And then a friend of mine and I went to this like workshop about <laughs> drawing jellyfishes. So um, I just chucked it in here just for like an inspiration and 
you know, just to show. And as well as like, it doesn't have to be painting. It could be like drawing with like pencils or pens or anything like that. Anything creative, anything that helps you explore and represent of what is it that you are. Oh, funny camera. Um, represent what is it that you want to express, whatever feelings, whatever. Whatever, like whatever you're feeling in the moment, whatever emotions that you have and whatever creative desires that you have. The thing is that, right, we were created and in that wording, we are creators in ourselves. We create our life, we create where we live, where we work, what we do. We have an ability to create our own life and everything that we want to be in it and being a creative person and doing it in that way whether it is through painting or whether it is through you know video work and cameras and taking like amazing pictures or editing videos or anything you want at all I think it's just so important and even if you feel like you don't have that creative bone in your body like everyone has that because we were all created <laughs> like we all have it we have two hemispheres and they're both perfectly fine and both work very well so in whatever way you want to represent your creativity and channel your creativity and share it with the world I think it's beautiful and incredible and amazing and it will make you feel even more fulfilled it will make you feel more inspired especially if you're doing something that you truly truly enjoy not just you know something that is expected of you or something that is part of the system and it's been 12 minutes, so I should let you, should finish this video soon. But basically that's what I wanted to talk to you about a little bit because I feel, I've been feeling like I've had this awesome shift where I'm also remembering now to give value to the creativity, give value to that side of my personal development, if you will. And I'm just very grateful and happy and excited that I am able to see it and I feel like it's really helping me grow and develop and represent myself as a person as well, a person that how I want to be created and presented. Okay, it's getting somewhat noisy outside as well. So I hope this video was interesting and you got a little bit out of it or something out of it. Try doing something fun and creative, whether it is drawing or dancing to a song or singing or writing music, or poetry, or drawing a picture with oil or acrylics or pastels or whatever you choose to do. Just remember that it's important to grow and develop both hemispheres of your brain and both parts of your being, really. It's not just about working at our jobs, being part of the system, <laughs> it's also an economic system. There's so much more to life, there's so much more and the sooner you start exploring yourself and exploring everything that you are able to do and give to others, the sooner you will start enjoying and appreciating the life I feel a lot more. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was helpful and interesting and inspiring and I'll see you again very very soon for another one of these little rants. See ya! Bye!